Good morning! Hi guys! Welcome in a brand new series called Building View UI Design System. <laughs> Jesus, that's a mouthful. Uh, in this series we'll be uh, trying to create a good design system for our app and uh, we'll try to do it using the, the Nux.js framework. However, this is not a prerequisite. We are just going to use it for the um, you know ease of use and, and fast installation. So um, I have debated for a long time, are we going to use um, you know, view two or view three? But um, Nux3 is not really out yet. It's not production ready. Um, because of all of the plugins that it has to, to update to the new version. Uh, so we are going to stick with version two for now and we may update it later. This episode will be purely about the setup. It will be fairly quick and uh, you know we can get it out of the way and just get things started. So uh, let's start by um, going to the documentation and uh, we can simply create a new uh, Next project using this command. So to install the project, we just need to paste this command here and then give our project a name. Uh, so I will just name my view UI design system and we'll just create a new project. Just give it a second to install. Now we have to configure a couple of things. So first we have to choose the project name then we have to choose the programming language. Uh, for simplicity, I will just use JavaScript here. Uh, our package manager will be npm. Uh, we'll use Tailwind because uh, everybody loves Tailwind. Well, not everybody, but you know. Uh, we won't need any of those here now. Uh, we can probably use ESLint here. Uh, we'll skip the testing framework. Um, it shouldn't really matter, but we'll just roll with single page app and our deployment target will be server. Um, so yeah, after you click all of those, we just need to wait a second for it to install. All right, and uh, now that it is installed, we just need to open the product in our editor of choice. I'm going to use PHP Storm because <clears throat> this is what I have and uh, this is what I primarily work in and it works great with Next. So let me just open that. Okay, so now that the product is opened, uh, we can talk about what Next really is. So Next is an opinionated front-end framework to build feature-rich uh, view applications that give you server-side rendering and a bunch of plugins to work with out of the box. So, um, you know, it is opinionated, similarly to how Laravel is opinionated, but um, this oftentimes gives you the, the greatest experience. The only issue with, with the version of Nux that we are using is that, uh, which is version two, is that it still uses Webpack and it can be rather quite slow when the app grows in size. So this is something to, to consider. Uh, but yeah, if we open the console, we can uh, type in npm run dev. And this should start our development server in a second. Now we can just open this link. And we can see our application here. So let us just talk about the, the product structure here for a second. So you can see that uh, we have four folders, really. Uh, one of them is store, which is uh, for built-in Vuex support, which we are not going to use, uh, at least not now. So we can remove that. Now we have a static folder, which is just used to serve any you know static files, like uh, PNGs or Favicon or anything else that won't really change that often. Uh, then we have pages and Nuxt has a file system routing. This means that any page here will be translated to a URL in your application. So for example, this index that view here will be translated to uh, you know, the, the root directory of our website. If we were to create a new web page, uh, sorry, a new folder called blog, and if we create a new folder here, a new file here called index.view, uh, 
we can add in something like this is our blog. We can save that and this error here is... Yeah, okay, we'll get to this. Uh, this is just a ES link giving us, uh, you know, problems. Okay, apparently we need to resolve that. So I think if we just uh, create a script, uh, we can just add a name here called, you know, like blog post. Yeah, I definitely need to, to tweak some of this configuration because uh, some of it I, I don't really like. Uh, but this should basically uh, maybe block page. This should solve the issue. And it did. So now if we go to, uh, you know, blog, we'll be able to see our new page here. So this is what, uh, how the file system routing. And then we have our components page, which, uh, you know, just contains your components. So uh, what's interesting here is that you can see that we are referencing this tutorial component here, but we are not importing this explicitly. That's because Next by default has this thing called components on, which auto import components. Uh, I don't want this. I don't really love this kind of magic. So I will just remove it and uh, we can re-import our component and we can do the same. We don't have to do the same here because we don't have any components here. So yeah, that's basically it for this episode. Uh, in the next episode, we'll start building our, our components, starting with a button, and we'll go from there.